Hi friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I will discuss addition of numbers in decimal, octal and hexadecimal system. It's a generalized approach that I will uh, show you. You can apply it for any number system. When I get into this addition, as all of you are aware about this addition in your uh, uh, previous courses, what you will do, suppose if I take some num numbers, 7, I'll just write some 7, 5, 4, dot, 3, uh, 4, 6, 8, dot, 9, oh, sorry, no. yeah, 9, let it be. So I'm just going to add these two numbers and both are in decimal system. I'll write here the number system that what I'm using is decimal system. If I do addition, what you guys will do, you usually do like this. So 9 plus 3 is 12, 12 means one carry you will put like that you will do but what I suggest here so since it is a decimal system the R value is equal to 10 whenever you encounter a number which is greater than or equal to 10 whenever the sum of any position goes greater than or equal to 10 then you have to divide that sum by 10 so since it is a decimal system say here 3 plus 9 I'm going to get it as 12 so 12 is a number which is greater than 10. So what I do, I'll divide it by 10. 10, one times it will go and reminder is 2. So this, this side I'll write it as quotient and this side I'll write it as reminder. So the value of the quotient we will write in the carry position and reminder whatever that I get, I will just write to the sum position. Then dot as it is. Then 1 plus 4, it is 5. 5 plus 8, so it is going to be 13, right? 5 plus 8 is 13. So if you just look into that 13 is greater than 10. So I'll just divide it by 10. So 10 one times it will go. So that is one quotient and 3 is a reminder. Right? So one time it will go, reminder is 3. So that reminder 3 I'll write here. That one quotient I'll take it as a carry. 5 plus 1, 6. 6 plus 6, 12. So 12 divided by 10. So 12 divided by 10, once again I'll get. 1 is a quotient, then 2 as a reminder. So the 2 I'll write here, right? So 1 is a quotient. 7 plus 1, 8. 8 plus 4, 4, 12. So again, I'm getting 12. 12, 1 is a quotient. Reminder is 10 one times. Reminder is 2. So if you just look into this, I can write here 2 and there is a quotient 1. Now in this positions, we don't have anything. So 1 plus nothing, nothing, that is 0, 0. 1 plus 0 plus 0, it's going to be 1. 1 is a smaller compared to 10, you can directly write. This is how actually I perform addition. So the students who missed my lectures, I think you, you I don't know whether you learned this way or not, but all your additions will be like in, a, in our previous courses, it was in a different way, right? So any questions in this, how to perform addition? This is a decimal number. Now I'll take one example with the octal number. Okay, so I'll just write here addition of some other number, octal system. When I say octal system, the R value is equal to 8 here. Now let us write some numbers in the octal system. Let us write some number. See, I'll write here 5. 6, 4, dot, 2, 3, 7, 4, dot, 6. So these are both octal numbers I have. So let me just add these two numbers and get the solution here. So in order to get the solution, what I do? What is this? 6 plus 2. 6 plus 2 is 8. 8 is equal to 8. Any number which is coming greater than or equal to 8, we have to divide it by 8. So 8 one times it will go. So what is the reminder? Reminder is 0. This is the quotient. This is a reminder. So reminder I'll write here. Quotient I'll pass here. 4 plus 1, 5. 5 plus 4, 9. 9 is a greater number compared to 8. Divide it. 8, 1 times it will go. And 1 is a reminder. So 1 here. And then 1 goes here. 6 plus 1, 7. 7 plus 7, 14. 14 is greater than 8. Divide it. 8, 1 times it will go. And what is the reminder? 6. So that 6 I'll write here one quotient it will go. 5 plus 1 6, 6 plus 3 is 9, 9 is greater than 8, so 8 one times and then 1 is a reminder.
So you will get data one here and then one here. So here nothing is there. One plus zero plus zero. It's going to be so the final answer is this. Now octal system, you can add the number like this. Any questions in this addition? You learned addition in decimal system. You learned addition in octal system. What is the difference? here the only difference is here whenever the sum comes greater than 10 you are going to divide and find the quotient and reminder reminders will be entered in the sum position quotients will be going as a carry okay so similarly here so in the octal system you have to divide the number by 8 whatever the number it comes if it is greater than or equal to 8 you have to divide by 8 and then check the quotient and reminder and the reminders you will be placing in the sum position quotients will be forwarded as a go to an hexadecimal number and see how we can add it hexadecimal okay so, so here hexadecimal means r is equal to 16 now here i'll just write what are these hexadecimal numbers 0 will be written as 0 1 will be written as 1 2 is 2 3 is 3 4 is 4 5 is 5 6 is 6, 7 is 7, 8 is 8, 9 is 9, 10 is A, 11 is B, 12 is C, 13 is D, 14 is E, and then 15 is F. So this is how the numbers will be represented in hexadecimal. Now let us perform the addition here. So when I do this addition of two numbers, let us see how we can perform. Let us write some two numbers. I'll write here A, B, 3, dot, F. So the other number could be 3, A, C, dot, D. So now let us add these two, two numbers. What I do now, when I want to add it, what is the commonality that is related to this and this here finding the number greater than or equal to 10 here finding the number greater than or equal to 8 now here finding the number greater than or equal to 16 so now what is f f is 15 plus d d is 13 15 plus 13 it is going to be 28 so 28 is obviously a greater than 16 so divided by 16 so what you will get 16 one times you will get so 8 plus 4 12 12 is a C. C is a reminder. So this is a quotient. This is a reminder. Are you are you following this? I'll repeat. F value is F value is 15. And then D value. D is 13. If you add the two numbers, you will get 28. 13 plus 15 is 28. 28 is greater than 16. So divide it by 16. So 16 one times it will go, and you will get a reminder as 12. So what is a 12 equivalent in hexadecimal? It is C. So that is the reason I have written C here. 1 and C. So this is C here in the reminder position. This in the carry position it is going to be 1. So now 1 plus 3 is 4. 4 plus C. C is 12. 12 plus 4. It is 12 plus 4 is 16. So 16 is greater than 16 is equal to 16. So we have to divide it. 16 1 times. What is the reminder? 0. So that 0 we are putting here and then quotient is 1. So now 1 plus b plus a, 1 plus 11 plus 10, it is going to be 22. So 22 is once again greater than 16. 16 one times it will go. So how much is left out? 6. So the 6 is a reminder, 1 is a quotient. So 1 plus a is 10 plus 3. 1 plus 10, it is 11. 11 plus 3 is 14. 14 divided by 16. Should we do 14 divided by 16? I'm getting 14. So 14 is lesser than 16. No need to divide. So just find out the equivalent of hexadecimal and write that. It is Is an idea fine. So if you get a number less than 16, you no need to divide it by 16. You can write the equivalent of that in that place. That's all in this video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share to your friends. Thank you.